Hey guys, we are the 732 Review Crew, and I'm Mikey. I'm Joe. And I'm Mike. And we're back today with a episode two of Firefly. You mean episode one. <laughs> no, it's episode one. Thank you, Fox. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Fox actually ended up airing this in the wrong order, apparently, as per the comments, including airing this episode first. So we're watching episode one yeah we're watching technically the episode one right now which is a joke because this is the first episode that aired but uh you know pretty excited to get into this episode just last episode was very interesting to get into it you learn about the crew a little bit in our you know which seemed like it was two episodes combined in one it, it did but it seemed necessary yeah. because yeah. it was uh quite a, a long list of characters they introduced multiple bad guys for the yeah. episode kind of things and they also introduced like the type of humor that they were going to be using throughout the show I, it seems like yeah yeah and it's pretty interesting you know and i can't wait to keep watching more and learn more about you know what this season has entailed for us the series has entailed for us in the movie after especially with the positive outreach from the community that came from it as well as you know some awesome new subscribers we've gained and all the views we got it's pretty heartwarming to see all that positive reach from us yeah no it's uh super endearing to see the support we got from transitioning to watch uh firefly i want to just say thank you to everybody who came out and watched and left comments uh special shout out to b chriswell and uh athos 1974 with your super comments glad Appreciate to feel the you. love um and yeah we're looking forward to giving you guys a wonderful reaction to the rest of firefly yeah. And thank you very much. I think without further ado, we can continue this series and just jump right into this episode. Are you guys ready? Yeah, I got my notes ready. I got all the names so far, so I think uh, uh, he does. And he <laughs> does, and it says Badger Dick. Why does that? Okay. Oh well, be, because uh, he was a right, dick. I'm just gonna send yeah. it. <laughs> Not Badger begin, Dicks. We're gonna pin <laughs> this episode in three, two, one. And thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. A captain's goal was simple: find a crew. Find a job. Keep flying. Hmm. That makes it that was a little extra background info there. Especially if you were watching this as your first episode. Unification Day! Huh. You gonna drink your lions with me? Oh no. Six years today. The lions sent the brown coats running, pissing their pants. This community is called by the way brown coats. I'm thinking you want them independence. And I'm thinking you weren't burdened with an overabundance of schooling. <laughs> so why don't we just ignore each other till the away? Great. Fight, fight, fight. I said, you're a coward and a piss pot. Now, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. I just want you to face me so she could get behind you. Ooh! <laughs> oh my God. That was great. I love that. Oh, let's do this. Time to rumble. Oh, those are cool windows. That's an awesome window. So she's handling her own though. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger claw. Ha ha ha. Oh. Pocket sand. Pocket yeah. sand. Yes. Oh. I'm thinking we'll rise again. Oh. Okay. Every man there, go back inside. We will blow a new crater in this little moon. <laughs> Damn, yokels can't even tell a transport ship ain't got no guns on it. <laughs> blow a new crater in this moon. <laughs> They're fine. Hey, wait. Can can what she happened? stand? They're terrible brawl. We're gonna find out. Funny, sir, how you always seem to find yourself in an alliance friendly bar. Come you day looking for a quiet drink. See, this is another sign of a tragic space dimension. She looks like she can use her legs pretty well. She does, Maggie, she does. I'm kinda ha I'm happy, you know. No sound in space, Joe. You really got tortured. Did you dream about the academy? It's not relevant. Didn't seem like an academy to, to me. Standard radion accelerator core class code 03 K64. Did you tell all that? Firefly. Oh, that's something. 
I can't even remember all that. <laughs> Need a weave on that? It's nothing. I expect there's someone's face feels differently. And they tell you, <laughs> you never hit a man with a closed <laughs> fist, but it is on occasion hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose so. so. Mm -hmm. That young man's very brave. Yeah. He's my hero. <laughs> <laughs> Give up everything to free his sister from that place. This guy has a very unlovely rep. He's got work for me? Fine. But I don't... I'm not sure you'd be safe. Ooh, he cares. Well, if you're being a gentleman, I may die of shock. <laughs> Old Bal. Have you got time to do my hair? <laughs> you have seen Claw. You Bro, lost to stand at the door to say boo. <laughs> We got word you might have a job for us. I also have a reputation not so pleasant, I think you know. Crow. Whoa. Now for you, my reputation is not from gossip. My reputation for you wow. is fact. Okay. It is solid. Oh, you do not like I killed this man. Hmm. Oh no, I'm sure he was uh, a very bad person. My wife's I'm... nephew. <laughs> At dinner, I'm getting earful. There is no way out of that. <laughs> the train heist. Let's go. It's an entire Hi. alliance Hi. garrison. <laughs> Taking it, he left that part out. Yeah. Yeah. I think the captain would much like me praying for him. Don't tell him. I never do. Oh, okay. did you catch that at the end? She said, "I never do." Mm -hmm. Never tell him. It does concern us. It kind of concerns me. I mean, they're not protecting the goods. If they were, they wouldn't be letting people past them. You don't think that changes the situation a bit? I surely do. <laughs> Makes it more fun. <laughs> He's insane. I think you have a problem with your brain being missing. <laughs> That? No one notices the ship buzzing them. Why would he take on trouble like those two if there weren't no problem uh. in it? Hmm? Captain's got a move he ain't made yet. You'll see. Guy's mm. extra greedy. Time for some thrilling heroics. I think it's just doesn't have the emotional intelligence that the captain does. Yeah. I think he's greedy. I really like the fusion of future and wild, wild west. west. Oh yeah. yeah. I love Wild West. Like, it's a space train heist. <laughs> oh, at least somebody's finally noticed what's going on. I mean, we were kind of hoping they wouldn't notice. Yeah, this is too obvious. Oh no. Oh, you got shot. Oh, nice. Oh! Jeez. Oh! Medicine, sir. All of the supplies. You stole the guy around medicine. You know, wait. All of it? Every ounce. Oh, not for the children. Uh. Not for the children. Son of a bitch. I mean. He didn't ask any questions. I'm gonna put them even more on the radar. Taggart received. Thoughts it back. Locals can deal with it. Sir, what? there is a regiment holding in Paradiso. They were on the train headed to the installation. Then get them back on the train and get it moving. Better things to do. Jeez. They don't care about them. Especially because it's an outer. Just keep coming until they get back what you took. Huh? Two by two. What? This Atlay Niska you're talking about? Now, how would a shepherd know a name like that? As I've heard it, he made a deal with the captain. This shepherd is super worldly for someone who, like, just got into the world. What's his backstory? He was at a monastery, wasn't he? He was clearly, like, a straight up killer <laughs> and turned <laughs> reverend, right? Oh, I. It's, it's suspect. He's sus. 
sir? Because you're my wife. How come there's so many sick here? No, the mind's poisoned. What well, is? Affliction of the bone and muscle. Degenerative. Every planet mm. that's been terraformed for human life has its own little. Oh. Earth. Turns out the uh, air down underground mixed up with the ore processors. The recipe for bodens. Everybody wow. gets it. Oh. Miners and dumpers. Hell, I got it. I ain't ever set foot in a mine. That sounds like the Alliance. Unite all the planets under one rule so that everybody can be interfered with or ignored equally. No. Oh. Jeez. Alliance ain't much use to us out here on the border planets. I ever find those people, they ain't ever gonna see the inside of a jail. I'm just gonna toss them in a mine, let them breathe deep for the rest of their lives. Ooh. Can't argue with that. That's that's a good punishment. It's funny, your uncle never went to mention in the Bowdoin's problem. Or the Joey Bloggs ate his own gun. Oh. Eight months back. Jeez. Would his job be open? <laughs> <laughs> you know what the chain of command is? It's a chain I go get and beat you with me, understand? <laughs> <laughs> We're finishing this day. Keep you. You're about to pass out. Yeah. yeah. I think he is. Or did the doctor give him something? I think it was the shot. <laughs> did he just go crazy and fall asleep? I told him to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> It was What's supposed to kick in a good deal sooner. I, I just didn't feel comfortable with him in charge. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do we get the others? Shame right about them not making contact. Chances are they got pinched. It's probably the computer. best move. Did you honestly think you could access my accounts and I wouldn't find you? And Zoe, what would your husband say if he knew you were here? I. There's the, oh gee, what is going on? There. Everyone's staring at him. Don't think one of them's ever seen a registered companion before. His story had kind of an odor to it. Yes, it's not the only thing about him that does. Uh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sheriff. Come along. <laughs> <laughs> Men servant, quickly! <laughs> they gotta thank her. He's gotta thank her. Come on, Mal. <laughs> we tried to get him into the infirmary. He's just heavy. We're bringing the cargo back. What? What do you mean back? I waited for you guys. <laughs> what about me? Oh, he showed up. Is it Crow? Yeah, it's Crow. You. There is no evil. Oh, he's doing a boomerang! Oh, Jesus. shit! Yeah, hey, yeah, get, get her out of there. He just... Bruh. Yeah! You gonna do oh, okay okay <laughs> i feel like she loves doing that <laughs> what's he doing <laughs> oh yeah Ooh. oh sure yeah Nice shot. Hey. I was aiming for his head. <laughs> <laughs> Notify the sheriff once we're in deep, deep space. Why not tell him in person? Oh. <laughs> but a man learns all the details of a situation like ours. Well, then he has a choice. I don't believe he does. Oh, that's that's that was a great answer. Yeah. yeah. Get these crates back to town. Bring it back to him, tell him the job didn't work out. We're not thieves. But we are thieves. Point is, we're not taking what's his. Wow. Keep the money. Use it to buy a funeral. You shouldn't really it kill him. No matter where you go, or how far you fly, I will hunt you down. 
and the last thing you see will be my blade. Darn. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my Yeesh. god. <laughs> now this is all the money Niska oh, gave us in advance. Oh, good. Let's speak for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Team player right there, huh? I mean, he did just get <laughs> the crow get kicked into a fucking engine. Darn. <laughs> I'm shook. Sorry to keep you waiting. There's always one crisis. We're not interested. We're here about a theft. The medicine on that planet. Word came up that was returned. We didn't fly 86 million miles to track down a box of band-aids, Colonel. <laughs> We're looking for a girl. This girl. Leanne the blue. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. Two by two. Wow. Okay, okay. Okay, all right, okay, all right. okay. All right. That was episode two of Firefly. Jeez. Hello? Hello? TV? Right, Thank you. You have to watch more. We have to go right into episode three. <laughs> that was episode two of Firefly. Now, I mean episode one. Technically, episode one that was aired uh, by the network back when this originally aired. Which is so crazy because that was so obviously not episode one. You don't, you don't know who anybody is. They don't even like, you, you know, know what I mean? Yeah, there's no introduction. Episode one had such a better introduction to everything that was going on. The characters and everything. Maybe Fox was like, instead of airing a pilot, we'll just put an episode out. And then people will just be like, oh, it's episodic. I must have missed the first one. And then they'll just keep watching, hoping to see the first. I don't, I don't know. know. They were trying to screw them over. But wasn't this in the 90s? 2002? Yeah, 2000s, yeah. Now. They were all on drugs. Uh, this Our crew is, it's fun to see a freelance crew like this that's only, you know, Goal in life is to just make money and have jobs so that they can pay for things to survive. And then yeah. you throw in their morals and what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually found it really interesting uh, with um, <clears throat> Inara because it made me realize, like, like she's like high class. Like it was like a statement that she showed up on some random fucking little town on this. Planet. No one's ever seen a companion. Well, companion yeah. or like high and class. I'm like, yeah. Damn, there's not a lot of hot women in the future, huh? Oh, <laughs> it seems like they're like a bit more. No, than, no, I'm yeah. joking. joking. No, I, 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 I'm just joking. It's just, but in all seriousness, yeah. I, I was like, wow, she is like, as they put it, like an ambassador, because that's actually kind of how it came off. It yeah. was that she was like at that level, and she could where they stroll. were like, yeah, no, the documents checked out. I guess that's her fucking manservant. And she, <laughs> she commanded power too, because the sheriff listened to everything she said without questioning it. And was even like, never met a woman like that before my whole life. And even, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, even the other woman next to him was like, yep, I checked her twice. Yeah, no, so I, too. so I thought that was kind of neat. I think it gave her a lot more yeah. uh, street cred, you know? Yeah, it's, it's very interesting, interesting to see, you know, the fleshing out of certain characters, like Inara, as a character who, even though Mal, Mal, uh, Mal treats her poorly, uh, she, everybody else views her as upper class being well to is, clarify yeah. we've only seen him treat her poorly in front of others yeah and there's, there's no one else yeah. around he treats her well and we are favorite. getting little context yeah. clues like this episode with the she prays for him you know so they secretly like have like a like so, they're not as bad as we think in terms of you know the relationship they're just kind of like maybe flirty or teasy who knows Maybe they're just like I don't know. Episode one, he like was pretty hard hitting with. He like was. The, he said was she's pretty a aggressive. common whore. Pretty yeah. much originally. It was, it was like it was rude. when, uh, when yeah. the preacher yeah, showed yeah. up. It was like, damn, dude. Now, uh, this episode was interesting because just like the last episodes, it seems like a lot of the jobs because we're on the edges, uh, the outer, you know, area, outer region, the outer rim. Most of the jobs we take are sketchy jobs that have. You know, a not so trustable person who gave us the job, or who, who's taking the money or giving us money. Well, I've always loved that. Like, uh, I don't ask questions because I don't need to know anything. And it's like, damn it, I found yeah. out anyways. I should have asked like questions. It. Yes. <laughs> was, you know, the, they set up this episode amazing too, because you know this train heist is, you know, it's a Wild West themed space show. Yep. train heist which is a staple in wild west and, yeah <laughs> yes. and we have 
the first episode sets up, you know, it's six years since you day, basically, when, you know, all the independent colonies became pulled into, you know, maybe losing a war, which is the brown coats. Um, and Mal was a part of this war. We know from the first episode, um, it's it's interesting to set up that it's you day and that, you know, he, he hate the Alliance and there's a lot of Alliance sympathizers. And, you know, for example, Jane was like, I'm not going to help you if you get into a fight that's based on like that. Because he know. wasn't involved. Yeah, yeah, he he was, was involved. a neutral part. Exactly. I also liked how Zoe was like, funny how this happens every single year. <laughs> He's like, well, you know, <laughs> decide to pick a random bar where, you know, people are support the Alliance so you can get into a fist fight. I, I just want to say that uh, obviously the first episode was a lot of setup, but I yeah. think that episode two was... Uh, more enjoyable just because of the fact that they were able to do like yeah. an actual like an event of like their job as opposed yeah. to the first one where it's like all right well we're gonna meet everybody and then there's gonna be like a little side thing with uh that lady that shot mal yeah yeah, yeah. now there's a whole um interesting little plot too where we learn that people go out to terraform and this planet just so happens to have they get weird side effects from the have, terraforming. Yes, different planets have different effects from side of for, uh, from terraforming, and this planet was a muscular like dystrophy type disease that you know the medicine that we treated was unfortunately the medicine that the crew was stealing without knowing. Now, as we go through this, it makes sense. You go to space, go to these far and distant exotic alien places, and try to terraform them. And you're not used to what's happening, the air, the quality. Yeah, your stuff. body's not used to it. Exactly. The minerals, even, you know, the gas that's produced, it's it could be toxic. And, you know, you and see it. it is. And it's not even just. <laughs> it apparently interacts yeah. with your body enough to cause a, a degenerative disease. And it's not just those who go into the mines that get it, but those, even the sheriff got just it. Just on the plane. Nearby. Yeah. Which, is, which is like, you know, if you live there long enough, it seems, you know, but you that's some it. people's livelihood. That's all they know for their home. So it's interesting to see them sort of build well, it's up interesting. It's, it's kind of yeah. like how uh, the miners in West Virginia would get like black lung and even people outside the mines would get cases of black lung over a long enough time. Yeah. Uh, Due to exposure. Right? Yeah, exposure. especially with like asbestos. There was a big thing with like the asbestos yeah. people is that the factory workers making asbestos, they, they would get it. But like, who you know who got it at a higher rate than the people User. who actually worked in the asbestos factory? Their wives who washed their clothes every day, who got limited exposure to it, so they didn't get any buildup, I guess, or something. But yeah, yeah. no, the wives of people who worked there mm. were even worse. No. Oh, I was going to say my favorite scene. Yeah. <laughs> just because... Yeah, Mike's on a roll, dude. Mike's been I, talking this whole I, video. I, 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 I called it, and it made me so happy. Right at the end, with like, yeah. bro, he's like, I'll, get, well, I'll hunt you down to the edge of the earth, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I'm like, just fucking kill this guy. Like, what a clown. Yeah, and I'm like, so happy that he's like, well, too bad. And kills him. And I was like, no, I, I, like I enjoyed guy. that that's like, a lot. That's like a theme at this point now, where it's like, they just they just don't have time for like the oh damn we still well it's it's refreshing to see in a TV show they're just like they actually make the right choices they don't have time for things so they make these like you know episode one it was like shoot him in the head just walk out the body toss the body on this wasteland planet and fly away crazy it's it's so good um think about these things that you know we're like you know we're commenting reacting we're like like you said you're like you know shoot him. Or, you know, kick him or kill him, and then it happens. Two seconds later, you're like, oh, so I sad. Like that about the show. Meanwhile, a show that doesn't need to be named that we were yeah. previously yeah. watching, I kept saying that, and then I'm like, oh, my God. And it just gets drawn out. <laughs> I'm like, man, you could have resolved this in three minutes if he killed him, well, like, like, that first encounter. It's like, it's you like know? Well, some shows, when the, uh, the lawman was trying to escape with the sister, and what's a, oh, I forgot his name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when, he, when I was like, Ooh. jump jump and he jumped actually a lot of shows have been like he would have ran down the stairs and this and that no he was literally like i gotta get there a through himself and you know i like that type of like you know there's desperation there's no time you know even though this somewhat of you know a more relaxed it still has those moments where it's tense or you know something has to be done and they just do it i actually don't really feel like i wouldn't use tense as the word for me personally i think it's more of because there's so much comedy involved and in a way, it was comedic instead of like letting him go on and on about how he's going to get his revenge. He was like, yeah, I don't have time for this. It just kills him, yeah. which uh, which I enjoy yeah. more. Yeah. And I felt like that kind of ties into more of the comedic 
well, um, it's over or undertones of the show. It's like halfway to parody is the best way I put it. Yes. Because yeah. it's like it's it tastes serious enough and there's yes. like enough in it. But then at times they'll just be like, we're not writing this. Just just have them shoot them. Have them kick them into bandages. <laughs> the, the lesser of two weevils. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy this no, I'm really enjoying Firefly. I'm sad there's only one season. Like the rest of the community is obviously. I guess it's it's the one thing that's always held me back from watching this show is the fact that there's one season. Movie helps, but just like the rest of you, when we finish this, you know, we're probably gonna be super sad that how this was mismanaged, just by the fact all you guys in the comments, you know, keep telling us how it would happen, you know, things like that. It's it's just very disappointing to see a you know good shows like this. Be managed like that. I'm pretty sure the writer of this show is the same writer as like Buffy the Vampire and stuff like that. I have no idea. No, I it is. It is. Oh, 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 oh. Well, you Buffy. said you're pretty. You know what? That makes sense because doesn't Buffy the Vampire Slayer like use an RPG to kill a demon or something? I mean, why not? If you were going to fight a demon, wouldn't you want an RPG? But like, she's like an 18 year old girl, isn't she? I've never seen Buffy. I apologize for anyone sure. who's offended by yeah, my no. misknowledge. Yeah, it, is. it is the same author. So. <laughs> but like, yeah, she just whips out an RPG and like blows up. <laughs> like, what is this? How is this relevant? I don't know. I'm just well, saying, I'm saying it's I'm relevant because it it's the same type of like over the top oh, writing that gotcha, still delivers gotcha. like a okay, good message. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So, you know, okay, so yeah, and then, you know this. I believe the the author whoever wrote this story has a big following with the cult following in terms of that. So the like, people who like that like the other shows as well. It's just the style of writing and camera work and everything is different. Plus, I mean, who doesn't like watching stuff from when you know, we were just younger, even, which is weird to say this was about 20 years ago, this Firefly came out, actually it was 21 years ago. And you know, watching this stuff, you know, sometimes when I watch stuff like this, it makes me feel like I'm a kid again. Like how I, I do feel like I just came home from school and I'm watching like midday television. I feel like, you know, like when I watch- Really? I'm getting that vibe. It's I, just 2002, dude. Me, it's just 2002. Man, it's reminding me of it's like one in the morning and I go to sci fi and Tremors is on again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, because it, it, it's so vividly. Re- I, that's why I was like, it just feels like a sci fi show to me in all the right ways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I haven't watched stuff like that in a long time, so it definitely also has that sometimes, nostalgia yeah. Som- effect. Sometimes it's fun to go back and watch stuff from the 80s, 90s, early 2000s compared to what we have now, and just see the amount of, not just visual effects, but actual practical effects and practical effort they go into making scenes. Yeah. All right. I'm pretty pretty cool with this episode ending right now. Yeah, no, this yeah, is good. Yeah, no. I'm excited for episode three, of course. Me too. And uh, I hope you guys are excited for episode three as well. If you've made it this far, make sure you do drop a comment of your favorite part in this episode. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And let us know if we could do anything to improve your viewing experience. Because we are the 732 Review Crew, and I'm Mikey. I'm Joe. And I'm Mike. And we are out of here. Bye. Bye. Bye.